Hey everybody, Josh Sigurdsson, World Alternative Media here, and it appears that the United States might get involved militaristically with North Korea. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson claimed last month during a trip to South Korea that the military option with North Korea is indeed on the table. While there have been U.S. fire jets surrounding the area around North Korea for several months now, there are now a fleet of U.S. warships heading towards a Korean peninsula for a possible showdown in a show of force. The commander of American forces in the Pacific ordered an aircraft carrier and several other warships towards the Korean peninsula as a show of strength by the Trump administration, according to the New York Times. This is just days after North Korea tested another intermediate range missile. This could get ugly fast considering the North Koreans threat towards the US as they ready their missiles. In a surprising move, despite being allied on many issues, China has just deployed 150,000 troops along the North Korean border to potentially deal with refugees in the case of a battle between the U.S. and North Korea. The Chinese have serious concerns that Trump may strike North Korea after his gullible move with Syria and with that, Russia, last week. In a disturbing twist, Kim Jong-un broadcast a possible coded message of an imminent attack on the state-run airwaves. Many believe the message was to North Korean sleeper cells. The broadcast happened at 12 a.m. addressed to members of the Remote Education University, saying things like number 69 on page 602, number 79 on page 133, number 18 on page 216. North Korea sent out a similar message on March 24th, just days before Kim Jong-un fired a missile into the Sea of Japan. Now, North Korea is obviously a terrible totalitarian socialist country, a country that's inspired other totalitarian socialist countries such as Cuba, though of course Cuba hasn't grown to the level of North Korea. While most are disturbed just by the day-to-day -day life in North Korea and the real isolationism within the country, if war kicks off, how exactly will bombing the country help the people, the real victims of the regime? Shouldn't the target be deprogramming those within North Korea who think their leader is God, showing them the beauty of freedom? Instead, this might just end in all-out death and destruction. Of course, the North Korean government has to be stopped, <laughs> among many others. But will bombing and massive potential nuclear clashes help? Or just lead to decades of further nation building? Yes, North Korea has been threatening the world and needs to be stopped by individuals. But perhaps all-out militarism will only cause possible nuclear war. As the military-industrial complex continues to grow, we live in dangerous times and will continue to cover these issues as they continue, obviously, to unfold. We should not be the policemen of the world. Individuals, however, should learn to be individuals instead of collectives. And individuals should learn to value true freedom versus state coercion. Thanks for watching, everyone. Check the links below. GoFundMe, Patreon. We can't do it without you. Any donation is very much appreciated. And of course, check our address in the description and the comments for Bitcoin, which we will also put up on the screen for you to scan, if you please. You can also check our link to the Red Pill Expo below in the comments and description as well, where you can see people like Ty Bollinger, J. Edward Griffin, Lord Moncton, James Corbett, Robert Kiyosaki, and many others speak. It'll be in Bozeman, Montana in June, and we hope you join us there. Until next time, this is Josh Searton signing out from World Alternative Media. Find the truth, be the change.